Hello and welcome to Finnish with Anna. You'll learn Finnish here in small, palatable lessons with a native speaker. This lesson is part three of my series on Finnish cases, and today we'll look at four cases. Essivi, adessivi, ablativi and allativi. If you haven't seen the first video in this series yet, I highly recommend you start watching from that. In it, I give a general intro to cases and also explain what I'm doing and what I'm not doing in this series. The first case today is essivi. It answers to questions as what, in what position and when. For example, certain holidays and weekdays. However, not all when questions are answered with essivi, as you will see later on in this video. Singular has the suffixes an a and an a, and word stem may change. And here are some examples. As or being sad, surullisena, basic form surullinen. He lay on the bed, sad, hän makasi sängyllä surullisena. On Wednesday, keskiviikkona. At Christmas, jouluna. Mom came home on Wednesday. Äiti tuli kotiin keskiviikkona. As a student, opiskelijana. As a student, I think, opiskelijana olen sitä mieltä, että. Plural forms have the same suffixes and usually the letter E is added before the suffix. I've again marked it with blue. As students, opiskelijoina, basic form, opiskelija. As students, we think, opiskelijoina olemme sitä mieltä, että. As or being tired, väsyneinä, basic form, väsynyt. We walked home, tired, me kävelimme väsyneinä kotiin. Or you could say, me kävelimme kotiin väsyneinä. Next, we have adessiivi. It answers, for example, to questions with what or how. Where, who has something, and when. It has the suffixes l l a and l l a. Word stem may change, and again, plural has the letter e before the suffixes. And here are some examples: by bus, bussilla. I go to school by bus. Kuljen kouluun bussilla. In this example, you would just say Anna in English but Annalla in Finnish. Anna has a new phone. Annalla on uusi puhelin. On holiday, lomalla. I'm on holiday, minä olen lomalla, or olen lomalla. In the morning, aamulla. Kaisa drinks coffee in the morning. Kaisa juo kahvia aamulla. And here's an example of plural. People. Ihmisillä, basic form, ihminen. People are always so busy. Ihmisillä on aina niin kiire. Then we have ablatiivi. It answers, for example, to the questions from who or from where, when and how. The suffixes are lta or lta and, as usual, word stem may change and plural gets the letter E before the suffixes. In this example, you would just say good in English, but hyvältä in Finnish. This cake tastes good. Tämä kakku maistuu hyvältä. At ten, kymmeneltä. Basic form, kymmenen. The course starts at ten. Kurssi alkaa kymmeneltä. At or from the bus station, bussiasemalta. I'll pick you up at the bus station. Noudan sinut bussiasemalta. From Levi. Leviltä. I got a present from Levi. Sain lahjan Leviltä. This is the plural example. From the rebels. Kapinallisilta. Basic form kapinallinen. Wait for a sign from the rebels. Odota merkkiä kapinallisilta. And the last case today is allatiivi. It answers, for example, to the questions to who and to where and to or on what. 
The suffix is always al al e. And again, word stem may change, and plural gets the letter e before the suffixes. To the bus station, bussiasemalle. Let's go to the bus station, mennan bussiasemalle. To grandma, mummolle. We gave roses to grandma, me annoimme mummolle ruusuja. On the floor can be translated in a few ways in Finnish. Here it is lattialle. Dad dropped an apple on the floor. Isä pudotti omenan lattialle. So it denotes movement here. However, compare it with adessiivi. In English it would again be on the floor, but in Finnish lattialla. The apple is on the floor, omena on lattialla, so there's no movement here. So, the same English expression may be translated to Finnish in different ways. And here's the plural example. To the dogs, koirille, basic form koira. I must give medicine to the dogs. Minun täytyy antaa lääkettä koirille. That was it for today. I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Kiitos kun katsoit. If you enjoy my videos, please consider subscribing to my channel and giving this video a thumbs up. Thanks! See you in the next lesson! Heippa!